surfing is a most fantastic thing. Um, I was always drawn to the water by my, my parents, my mother, seeing the waves crash. Anything, anything with the action that you could get speed and power, it's just fantastic. So we rode air mats, we body surfed, we slammed into the sand. As soon as we saw a surfboard, we go, we got to get one of those. So my buddy and I bought one, split it, and st stood up the very first ride I ever caught and fell off. So that's, that's about how life is. Stand up, fall off, stand up, fall off. Rimbo, well, what can you say? The tallest guy I've seen, and he's a dentist from hell. He's still charging, like he was 20, and most of the guys that are young on the other boats just go, God, who is that guy? The SMA, or Surfing Medical Association, you'll see featured in some pictures here about my life, has been pretty instrumental in going to the tropics, surfing, big, huge ass, kill yourself on the waves, on the reef type tubes. Everybody knows about cloud break. Uh, cloud break over eight foot is really something to be reckoned with. Uh, you'll see a couple of pictures we have. and. Um, We've been going there for 25 years. The first year, fantastic waves. We provided medical treatment in the uh, in the villages. And again, some pictures show about just, we eventually decided to do uh, preventive dental work. But first we would pull teeth, fix teeth, uh, give glasses, get malaria nets up, do work with water supplies, do a bunch of things that uh, the local villagers in Tavarua needed and eventually we branched out from there and went to Indonesia and took care of some various islands, partly in conjunction with this organization called Surf Aid. The relationship with the doctors and the people on board is just really incredible. I've, I've been in this organization 25 years and uh, it's always great to be able to provide with your talents some of the things they need in these foreign areas. It's a nice day, a couple waves. Let's go see what Rim's up to. He's awake. Rimbo. Oh man. Are we missing some waves? Yes, I think we are. Question is, is can we surf after work too? All right. Uh, get a little warmed up for. Come on, Nichols. Uh, you know what? Give her a little nudge. Come on, Nikki. Come on. Come on. Let's go. Come on down. Let's go see the vicious dogs. Come on. Off to the lane. go out you just go out so that later in the day you don't have to say doggone it I should have gone out I had free time important thing I'm thinking of is actually get some exercise and some waves yeah. I'm 
Look at that wave. Something there. serve and she is just absolutely probably one of the best moms in the oh, world we've taught them everything they could possibly learn about the ocean um, I've taken them out in pretty big surf at uh, Sunset in uh, Scott Creek and they'll, they'll go out on a solid 10 12 foot day of Scott Creek on their uh, medium-sized guns and uh, they're, they're yeah. great short borders good and proficient long borders and uh, it's really fun when the, the family can actually go surfing all together is really really a fun thing and uh, they've been featured in a lot of magazines they modeled for O'Neill's modeled for Hobie and um, you've probably seen them in catalogs here and there they're yeah. somewhere between plucking their eyebrows and uh, watching their tans so they don't get wrinkles and uh, being just full-on go for it surf girls Daughters. Don't. No. No, you, no, you, don't, you don't have to be weird about it. No. Like. His daughters are beautiful, talented young ladies uh, going to UCSB, and uh, he's a lucky guy to have daughters like that. Stoked for him.
I think he, he's inspired a generation. I try to be one tenth the guy Riv is out there. He is our hotshot surfer, but he's also the ambassador. Rim is the man. You don't know Rim. Sometimes you don't know shit. When things are real and it's gonna be a 44 Magnum toothbrush. Not not a 44 Magnum. Some are quick to take the okay, bait so and go. catch. You ready? Perfect prize that waits. Listen, punk. You gotta ask yourself, do I feel like a 44 Magnum toothbrush? most powerful hand that toothbrush in the world. You gotta ask yourself, do I have one or do I have five shots of toothpaste left? So, do you feel lucky, punk? Well, do you? Snake like fur, dis your last.